feeling hopeless till you came around, came around All this time, you're the only reason I'm not chasing highs, chasing highs What is love? moly cannoli there's so much to do in this video you guys let me zoom out <laughs> oh beetles gel sent over first off a lamp i was not expecting a lamp thank you so much beetles for this i really really appreciate it and they let me pick out two gel polish kits so what i have decided to do since there's two and your girl Let's be honest, I don't need this much gel polish. I'm going to do a video on one kit here today, and I'm going to be doing a giveaway for the other kit. So stay tuned for the giveaway details. And if the person who I'm giving it away to doesn't have a lamp, hit me up at the time of the giveaway because, hey, you need a lamp? I got you. So to get into this kit, first of all, wow, the packaging on this kit is insane. Like, obviously, it comes in a customized box. I really do like the box that they have, and it has the name of the kit on it. So that's really nice. I think that's the name of the kit. Actually, no, that's not the name of the kit. I don't even know what the name of the kit is anymore. So anyways, you open it up. You can open it up on this side, so that's how I'm going to do it. And then automatically you get a well, little slip. But it comes in these little styrofoam trays, like containers. Like, this makes for good storage. Like, it's compact. The gels stay hidden away in a dark spot if you need it to. And it just, like, it's easy to pull out. It's not all over the place. So I honestly think that I'm going to keep the gels in these little styrofoam things because of how easy it is just to take it out. I do think I want to take like everything out and swatch them because they are very bright. Wow. These are very bright polishes. Ooh. Okay, okay. And they come in small gels, so these are like tiny trial sizes. Um, I, I, I don't think I've ever gone through an entire bottle of gel unless it was black and white. So it's really just like the perfect size to use gel polish, especially if you don't usually use gel polish. It's like a nice trial size. Oh, we got some sparkles in here. So these look to be some glittery gels. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch everything and I'll be back. All right, so here they are swatched. These are the pastel colors. I really do like that there is a differentiation between the pastel and the neon, and then there's two glitters that are also in the number sequence with the pastels. That's just how I know they're part of the pastel set. And then the neons are just as freaking gorgeous. I want to say like kind of a similar shade range, but very, very neon, except for like the blue and purple. I don't feel like those are really neon. And then you have the glitters on the left-hand side that are also in the same number sequence as the neons, uh, a, a distinct differentiation between the pastels. So I think that's really cool that it could really pair well. So it's time to get in a manicure. Obviously, I could not go through with this video without actually doing a mani. So I'm putting on my Mani Boss Peel Base. And I'm going to put a layer of gel base on all of my nails. I'm doing that off camera so I don't bore you because putting on clear is kind of boring. And I want to show you guys the bottle and the consistency and the brush size. So these are larger bottles than the colored gels. So these are 8ml bottles. The colored gels, I believe, are 5ml. So you'll notice that the brush on these smaller bottles is shorter and stumpier, and it really honestly leaves much to be desired on a brush style. But if you have smaller nail beds, this might be something that you like. I, it doesn't bother me because I don't use gel that often. I don't do gel manis as often as I do dip manis. So it's not something that I'm like really stressing about like I would with my dip liquids. So this is the first color that I'm putting on my nails. I'm actually using two colors here today on my nails. So it's going to be this pink, and I'm also actually, clutch your pearls, I'm using a purple. <laughs> yes, I'm going to be doing a purple and pink ombre. I've never done a gel or nail polish ombre before. Let me tell you, that stuff is hard, and I was not prepared for it. Just what is love? What is love? 
and I'm curing between layers and while that's curing I'm going to talk to you guys about this brush. I got this brush, gosh I don't even know where, I'll find out. Um, it's an ombre brush if you didn't know. It's a very unique brush that allows you to ombre polishes and gels. So that's what I'm going to be doing on my middle finger today. I wasn't really going for a certain kind of style, but I just really wanted to try this ombre because I've seen it done many times on YouTube and Instagram, and I'm like, you know what? I want to try my hand at this. So what you're supposed to do is put the two colors side by side and then use the bristles to kind of blend the colors into each other. That is not easy. And then you cure, and then you do it for another layer, and then cure again, like keep blending. It is not easy and you're going to see me do this for quite a while. I think it took me, I timed it, two or three minutes to get the blend down. So you can see here that the blend is not that seamless. You can see the brush strokes. So I am going to apply another layer of the purple and the pink. Do mind you that I did cure between layers. Before I apply more gel polish, I always cure beforehand. So I'm going back in there with this brush to blend those out. And after I'm done blending, I am going to cure. I do leave the curing off camera, but always note, before you apply another layer of gel polish, cure the current layer that you have on your nails. So I am pretty much satisfied with how this blend turned out. I am going to cure that off camera and we're going to get into some nail art. So I do have these brushes. I figured it out. I got them on AliExpress. I can't find these rose gold handles on Amazon. I'm so sorry. And then I'm going to take gel polish in like five or six different colors and I'm going to do kind of like a rainbow swirl. Yes. So what I really wanted to do with this polish is just do like a rainbow design using this liner brush and this yellow. You will barely be able to see it pick up on the camera because it's on such a light background, which is the pink. But the rest of the colors when I'm doing the lines, you will be able to distinctly see them. But I got these brushes off of AliExpress. And if you haven't shopped on AliExpress, it's like a black hole of nail art and everything you can think of on AliExpress. I freaking love it. It does take between like two weeks to two months for me to get some of the things, but really it's not a super long wait time. I don't buy anything that I need immediately from AliExpress. I'll go on Amazon and buy it instead. But I do find that the quality of the products that I got get on AliExpress are very on par with Amazon, so I have no doubt that these Amazon sellers are probably buying their stuff from Alibaba or AliExpress or they have the same manufacturer. Anyways, so here is my second line. I am trying to go like in a pastel rainbow type of mood, except for the blue isn't really a pastel. I picked the blue because I wanted like a pop of a darker color on these swirls. And I'm going to be honest, I tried this out to do like an actual rainbow from like cuticle to free edge type of rainbow. I need to practice <laughs> my like my lines. So doing a swirl like this, that's not necessarily, um, there's no rhyme or rhythm. There's no right or wrong way with it. Seemed a lot easier. So I just do this for all the colors and I am flash curing in between layers so that the colors do not blend into each other when I'm doing the next line.
All right, this is my finished manicure, and I know in the beginning of this video I said I was doing a giveaway for one of the gel polish kits and lamps, so don't worry, stay tuned. On the very next slide, there is going to be a very clear instructions on how to enter into the giveaway. All right, the instructions are pretty straightforward. You just have to let me know which one you liked better, the neon or pastel. So I'm really excited to be hosting this giveaway and thank you Beatles Gel for sending over these kits for me to review. So here is the finished mani. If you like it, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more videos like this, cause I do have more giveaways coming, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so that you get notified of when my next video uploads. Thank you guys so much. Just making biscuits. And look at this alert. Hello, handsome. Say hi to the camera.